Today we're gonna show you how I built this workbench. Let's check it out. So I was browsing Thingiverse and ran into this print. <laughs> I thought it looked pretty cool, so my shop was in shambles. So I figured, hey, I like to have a fancy workbench with all the fixings. So let's do it. Of course, like a dummy, I forgot to record the first part. So I'll show you how I did the second part. And I promise no more wood cutting. That was the only footage you will see in this video. So it's pretty much a, a, a big time lapse. Just me kind of throwing it all together. And I'm uh, I'm a screw kind of guy. I like to screw everything together because I mess up a lot. <laughs> so this is all I got done today. I cut all the parts down and built the legs. Uh, then I was playing around here to to see what size I needed and how far down I needed to go. Uh, but this actually went together really easy. Um, the instructions and on that picture were enough to kind of get going. And I got to tell you that this thing is really sturdy. And another trick is you see all those ermine clamps that I have there. I use them to hold up all the wood and hold pieces together tightly, keep them straight. That way I could screw it in nicely. See? On all these shots, you'll see me using some type of clamp. I'm holding it right there so I could hold it level, everything in place. Try it out. Here it is without. Um, any tops or anything like that. So that's where the table saw used to be, so I'm going to be reclaiming that area. And it's going into the shop! Look at the nice little roll around. We're all locked in. There we go. And then when it's not in use, uh, put it out of the way. Yay! I eventually want to get some type of clamps or something under here. And it's nice I got some storage. Make sure you wear your respirator. Look at all that junk going out in the air. Look at that. So for the tops, I use three-quarter MDF. Perfect fit. So I knew I was going to put untreated hardwood on top, so I needed to drill holes and make sure that I recessed the holes so the screw wasn't sticking up. Did you ever notice that us guys always have to move the, the sawdust to the side? Why is that? Okay, here we go. I got the top on. Still kind of a mess. I didn't glue it on yet. I didn't glue this part on yet. But, uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to cut a little, a little spot for, for the saw there. For there, and then I could mount that to it. Oh, I also did these lights. Uh, they're really nice because they're kind of plugged together. So you could come over here and you could kill the one light by the switch and you'll kill them all. So very nice. If you notice here, I'm using a 2x4 to make them all the same height. Um, and to clean off the sticky stuff, I use Goo Gone. Worked great.
everybody, thanks for tuning in. Next episode is probably going to be a Star Wars prop of some kind. I, I've been printing them out, printing them out. I don't let them stop. I don't know, to me, it just feels weird when the 3D printers stop working. So, I'll get you something Star Warsy next week. I promise.